a one to four transition lick in the key of E, going back and forth between E7 to A7. A one, two, three, four. <laughs> Welcome back to Swift Lessons for another Lick of the Week. In today's session, we're gonna have a follow-up to a previous lesson that I made called How to Follow a Chord Progression Like a Pro. And that's because we're gonna be learning the exact same very cool transition lick, a lick that takes you from the one chord in the key of E, E7, to the four chord, A7. So we're gonna get started learning how to play those chord shapes, then we're gonna get into the source scales, two different positions of the minor blue scale in the key of E, then I'm gonna break down the lick for you note for note. Uh, and we're going to start off with a very basic version, then we're gonna add a few frills like hammers, pulls, and slides. You can follow along using my tab at patreon.com slash swiftlessons, support the channel there, and gain access to a ton of extra resources for all my popular YouTube guitar lessons. Now, let's get started. Okay, a close look at the fretboard, getting started with section one of this lesson. First, getting down the chord progression that we're playing over top of, and the scale we're using to create the lick. Okay, so for this lick of the week, we're playing over top of a one to four change in the key of E. So the one chord in the key of E, if I consult my major scale, all right, the first note of that scale is E. So then the one chord will be E as well. We're gonna make it into an E dominant seven chord shape. Barring the seventh fret, A string to high E string, and grabbing the ninth fret D, and the ninth fret of the B string. E7. Now, the four chord in this key, let's check the major scale. E, F sharp, G sharp, A. Since A is the fourth note of the scale, we're gonna turn this A note into an A7 as well. Okay, so our one to four change is going to be E7 and A7. Okay, so now our lick is going to be a little bit more professional because it has a destination. It's mindfully taken us from the one chord to the four chord, okay? And that's what you're going to see in a lot of very high level uh, lead guitar players playing. Okay, very good. Now that you know the chords that you're playing over top of, that's always the first step to getting a lick down. The next thing we wanna do is learn the scale, the source scale. Okay, so what we're gonna be using here is just a different position of our minor blues scale in the key of E. It's gonna look and sound like this. Okay, so this is the A position of the minor blues scale in the key of E. And that means it's going to outline these chord shapes here that kind of look like our open position A7 and also our A minor chord shapes there. Okay, so wrapping around this A position of the E7 chord shape, we're going to have the blues scale. All right, so we're gonna play seven to 10 on the low E string, seven, 10 on the A. All right, then chromatic on the D string, seven, eight, nine. And then onto the G string, seven, nine. Onto the B string, we're playing eight, 10, 11. And then the high E string is going to get seven, 10. That's it for the position. Now, going to the next root, 12th fret of the high E string. You put all that together and we have the A position of the minor blue scale key of E. Okay, and that's where the lick is going to start off. Very, very powerful position. Really cool double stop. Uh, licks, but then also a really useful position in that you can easily transition to other scales that might be useful for a one, four, five progression. So if I'm playing over top of the one chord. Okay, I've got really cool stuff I can do right there. But then if the four chord, A7, comes into play, I can easily switch. minor pentatonic in A, 
Maybe the five chord in the key of E comes into play, that's gonna be B. I can just take that pentatonic scale right up there, the common position pentatonic scale in the key of B. Okay, so then now I've got three scales that I can use in the key of E if I'm jamming over top of a blues 1-4-5 progression. So the one chord, I've got that blues scale that I just showed you. Uh, then the four chord comes, A7, I can just switch to the scale that belongs to that chord, the A minor blues scale. And can get myself back to the one chord E. The five chord comes again. I can switch to the blues scale or the minor pentatonic scale in B before going right back home to the key of E. Okay, so there you have some just general tips for soloing in the key of E off of this minor blues scale in the A position. Okay, so now there's just one other position of that scale, that E minor blues scale that you should know because we're going to be actually using two positions of the scale to create our lick that transitions to the four chord. Okay, so the next scale that I want you to practice this week is going to be the E blues scale in C position. So now I'm playing an E chord using my C chord shape. You can see that the root is the seventh fret of the A string, which is an E note, making this an E chord. Okay, and surrounding this chord shape, we have another position of the blues scale. Looks and sounds like this. Okay, so that was five, six, seven on the low E string. Five, seven on the A string. Five, seven, eight on the D string. Four, seven on the G. Five, eight on the B. And then five, six, seven on the high E string. Okay, very good everybody. A quick review, you've got the chord progression down. The one to four in the key of E, E7 to A7. You've got your source scales down, the A position of the minor blue scale key of E. Okay, we're gonna be using that to create our lick in addition to using the C position of that scale. Okay, if you have all that down and memorized, then you're ready to jump into learning the lick. Okay, finally breaking down this one to four transition lick. First, I'm gonna give you a no frills version. No hammers, no pulls, just very basic. Then we're gonna add those elements back in uh, to make it sound a little bit more professional. Okay, so the basic version of the lick is gonna sound like this. One, two, three, four, and one, and... Okay, now real slow. Okay, so that began on the G string. We're in that uh, E blue scale, A position, and we're playing nine down to seven, G string. All right, then down the blue scale, we're gonna play nine, eight, seven, five on the D string. So far you have. All right, then we're gonna go to the seventh fret D string, seventh fret A, that's called stacking. All right, so far you have. Okay, then we're back to five, seven on the D string. Four on the G string, up to seven. Then we're gonna slide to the major third of an A major chord shape. Slide into the sixth fret G string, and then go into the root of the four chord, A7, an A note on the fifth fret of the high E string. Okay, you put all that together and we have real slow. Get it into your ear. Okay, and you want to try to mess with the rhythm a little bit. Make sure it's syncopated, make sure it's bouncing, and that you're catching those that triplet feel of the lick. Notice how I'm putting some emphasis on specific notes. Okay. 
Alright, if you can play that. Then you're ready to move on to adding in. Hammer-ons and pull-offs. Okay, now adding in the hammers and the pulls, we're starting off hammering from seven to nine. Then going back down to seven. All right, then to the D string, ninth fret. That's kind of your first phrase. All right, then after that, we're going to play. I'm on the D string. I'm playing seven, eight, seven with a hammer and pull. And then sliding down to the fifth fret of the D string. So far you have. All right, then we're gonna stack. All right, so that was seven, seven. Five, seven. All right, then it's verbatim what we learned before. Four, seven on the G string. Dropping you off onto the sixth fret of the G string and the fifth fret of the high E string. Okay, right inside that A major chord shape or A7 chord shape. Okay, one more time, put all that together. One and... In rhythm, if I've got the one chord going to the four. It's right after the one beat. One and. All right, once more, very slow. And one and. Okay. So very cool lick, it's a fast lick, it's very impressive, it definitely is going to grab the ear of your listeners. So practice that nice and slow, and then see if you can build up the speed gradually until you can play it at full tempo. All right friends, thanks so much for checking out this lick of the week, I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments section down below. As always, big thanks to my supporters at patreon.com slash I hope you're enjoying all those extra resources, and thanks to you guys, I got many more lessons coming up, so keep checking in, please subscribe, please share. This is Robert Swift Guitar Lessons in Philadelphia, saying happy picking.